was four for a second. Five, four, three, two, one. Five minutes of your time for four little things to share with you from this fantastic location, which on itself, before I say anything else, tells us that of course there is a God, and of course we need to get right with him, and of course we can get right with him, not by lifting ourselves up, but by reaching out to his hand, which is extended down towards us. The little scripture we got here right now, as it just starts with a bit of music in the background there, is a continuation from Genesis in chapter one, and it says we've had um, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was formless and void, and darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. The day's nearly gone. This is part 10, our 10th in our ongoing series, which will stretch on into all eternity, well, at least for a little while longer. The first thing I want to share with you is four minutes and 30 seconds left is God is ready to create. We yesterday thought about God ready to start painting painting his creation in here and the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters God is ready to create he's done his creation in the world in the universe from the stars to blades of grass to flowers to water to human beings and all of the creation he's done that but he wants to do a creation in your life and more in my life he wants to keep his work going in our lives he doesn't have to do it but he wants to do it we don't have to let him do it but we'd be wise to let him do all of the work in our lives let him have his way in our lives in your lives lean not on your own understanding but in all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path what in the wrong direction down the garden path towards oblivion no towards full creation he will do a creation in your life which is worth knowing and worth having wait for the people to go by and the spirit of god was hovering over the face of the water three minutes and 21 seconds left the second thing i love this bit here the spirit of, thank you very much and the spirit of god was hovering over the face of the waters the second thing is brooding brooding is the word they're hovering it was like a mother god was like a mother hovering over his creation which he was just about to bring into fullness of life do you know what that is what god is like deeply caring he said once concerning jerusalem that he was like a a mother hen longing for those little chicks to come under his wings but they were not willing let's be willing to know that he knows better than me he knows better than you two minutes and 38 seconds to move on from god is ready to create and brooding over to bring to fullness of life to the third thing with two minutes and 20 seconds left is brooding over you brooding over you brooding over me brooding over everybody brooding over the people over there brooding over this world there's two ways of looking at brooding there's a really positive way but there's also this way of come on come on little ones come near to me i know what i'm doing says God the Father. If he doesn't know what he's doing, no one else does. And we're completely stuffed. All we can trust in the one who's brooding over us. And he, can, he tells us to come nearer to him, that all that he can do would be done in our lives, brooding over you. He wants to do stuff in your life and in my life, which most of the time we don't let him do. And sometimes he says, okay, if you don't want me, I'll, I'll go away and maybe you'll call out and I won't be there anymore. That's serious stuff. And then the fourth thing there, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. We've had God is ready to create, brooding, brooding over you, and he certainly has a plan. Was hovering over the face of the waters. I was wondering what was going through the mind of God, through the heart of God, as his Holy Spirit was going over the surface of the waters. Zoom in! All over the surface of the waters. Over the whole lot, getting ready to do. What was in his heart? What was in his mind? What was within his ability to just about do and just start to do? You remember in the next verse, God said, let there be light, and there was light. It must have been the most fantastic thing ever. 53 th seconds to go. God was ready to do something. He certainly has a plan. He's executed his plan concerning many things, concerning his son, God himself becoming a man and dying on the cross, and he's got a plan for you. Are you going to let his plan for you come to fruition, or are you going to crack on and do it yourself? Do it yourself. Get down to B&Q, do it yourself. Or are you going to let God do what he wants? 28 seconds, let's pray. 
Lord God, I do pray as I preach to others that I'm hearing what God's saying to me and I would let you put into practice your intentions for my life more than my intentions for what I consider to be my life to come true. Lord, we pray these things uh, with semi-reluctant hearts. Make us willing in Jesus' name. All God's people said, Amen. Thank you.